when a woman is pregnant and does not have a continuation of the pregnancy beyond the first three months, and that happens on two or more occasions, that would be deemed uh, recurrent pregnancy loss. A lot of patients have problems with ovulation, so sometimes it's a very simple process of giving them medication to make sure they ovulate appropriately and form a normal lining that'll support the pregnancy. And there are some anatomical abnormalities of the uterus that can be surgically corrected. The reproductive endocrine doctor can do those types of procedures. Um, but mostly what we now do is genetic screening of embryos to select embryos that are genetically normal and reduce the risk of miscarriage. PCOS is a very common disorder. Women often have, they're often overweight and they have infrequent menstrual periods and they have difficulty becoming pregnant. The traditional treatment is to give them medication to make them ovulate. If their androgens are elevated, then we may give them medication to reduce their androgens. Ironically, one of the things that can be used to treat polycystic ovary syndrome is something to reduce the hormone levels. So sometimes we treat the polycystic ovary syndrome with birth control pills, which is an irony. They come in to get pregnant, we tell them to take birth control pills and they look at us like we're crazy. But it works tremendously because that reduces the androgens, reduces the effects of all these extra hormones, then it's much easier to help them ovulate.